If I hear any strange noises, I am out of here. Get up! Yep, that'll do it. I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Not very pleasant today. It's pouring rain, but I had to stop by. I'm here to film something else. Well, about three hours away, but I had to stop and see this guy. Mothman. Have you heard of Mothman? I've heard of Mothman. I saw the Mothman prophecies with Richard Gere a while ago. I can't remember when that movie came out. Mothman is a legend in these parts. Now there's a like an abandoned ammunition uh, World War II place, so nine miles from here. And apparently back in 1967, around that time, two couples were out there hanging out in the car. I think we know what was happening. They were teenagers. They were making love while a young boy drowned. Wrong movie. Now, and they saw what they claimed was like a really tall bird-like creature with bloodshot eyes. So essentially they, did, they saw my aunt in the 90s from what I could tell. Well, that description it fits. But no, they saw the and it was a bird-like and it had wings. And then they drove off because they were terrified. Why wouldn't they be? Would you be? It sounds like Jeepers Creepers. And then it followed them. This set off a whole bunch of bird, bird men. <laughs> this set off a whole bunch of Michael Keaton sightings in Port. No, this set off a lot of Mothman sightings all over Point Pleasant. UFOs had to do with it. And uh, then, the, now this part's real. Well, I'm not saying Mothman's not real, but hmm. there used to be a bridge right up here called the Silver Bridge, and it collapsed. And then that was 1967. I may be getting the years wrong. I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, and that collapsed, and 46 people passed away. And that's terrifying. That is a terrifying thing, a bridge to collapse into the, oh, the river there. So we're going to go in the museum, but first I'm going to take you across the street and show you the Mothman. So apparently it's, it's a giant bird-like creature that flies around. It doesn't, it doesn't really harm anybody, but it could be a harbinger of, like, doom. That's apparently what he is. And, oh God, I have so many jokes in my head going right now. But here's a sculpture of him. Here's a sculpture of him. Yeah, it's pouring rain, so it's, it, this is just sucks. But I can't wait to go up to the TNT here. I'm going to take, we're going to go in the museum right there, Mothman Museum. But look. Look, look, look. On a chilly fall night. Okay, so November 1966. Two young couples drove in the TNT area. Yeah, they realized they were not alone. What they saw that night has evolved to one of the great mysteries of all time. Hence, the Mothman legacy began. It has grown into a phenomenon known all over the world by millions of curious people asking questions. What really happened? What did these people see? <laughs> As I choke up my own vomit. Has it been seen since? It still sparks the world's curiosity. The mystery behind Point Pleasant, West Virginia's Mothman. Wow. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna go in the museum, take a look around. Now we're gonna go see the. Uh, we're gonna go in the museum, take a look around. Then we're gonna go see the bridge. That o'clock. Look at that. Stop looking at me. Then we're gonna go see uh, the TNT area, to, and because apparently there's some old bunkers that I can wander around. That's pretty cool. It's raining. It's cold. It's weird. <sighs> Let's go to the museum. Alright, here we are in the Mothman Museum. Look at this. Who or what was the Mothman? 
An alien? A supernatural manifestation? Or an unknown cryptid? What was that noise? So these are all handwritten by a witness. What she saw. They went downtown and stopped at Dairyland. Well, that's your first mistake, lactose. That'll put you in a bad, bad state. Ooh. And a bad smile. Little orthodontry work would be fine. <laughs> he looks like a bit of a dick. So the men in black. So apparently they came here trying to tell witnesses not to speak and to, to telling the woman who wrote the articles, stop writing articles. Here come the men in black. And of course the Richard Gere movie. Was it Richard Gere and Laura Linney? It's not... Yeah, Laura Linney. What other movie were they in together? They were in another movie. Uh, Primal Fear, I think. So here we are. This is the museum. Looks like Point Pleasant Monopoly. Care, uh, this is the woman who wrote all the articles. No. So this lady here opened a steakhouse and in the silver bridge collapse she lost her three-year-old son that's tragic Timmy and she was heavily involved in tourism here so she was co-director of the Mothman festival where's the restaurant so they've got parts of the restaurant here I'm assuming this is it here oh wow yeah Someone tried to come up with scientific explanations for the Mothman. Skeptics claim that it was a mass hallucination that had been cleared up by the shock of the bridge tragedy. Others blamed it on a curse placed on the town by a Shawnee chieftain over 200 years before. And a local ornithologist claimed that it had really been just a big bird all along, a sandhill crane. This species superficially matches descriptions of the creature, but eyewitnesses disagree. Wrong color. Too skinny. I've seen pictures of sand hill cranes on the here and uh, nothing. In my opinion, uh, Professor Smith and uh, West Virginia University. So this is parts of the restaurant that she opened, Harris Steakhouse. That's very, very, very cool. Some people said it was a giant owl. Oh, I've seen large owls, but I've never seen a little Let's go in the back here. There's a lot of stuff here. Copy of the screenplay. Deborah Messing. Looks like Richard Gere's autograph there. Town lives in fear of the UFO bird. Is the dreaded Mothman poised to strike again? Well. Are you? Yeah, Mary Hire. This is the lady I was thinking about. She wrote Mary. No, yeah, Mary Hire. She wrote all these. Where the waters mingle. I was reading about this. She wrote all these articles about the Mothman back in the day. She died in 1970, from what I remember. At the age of 54, wow. So we're going to go out to the TNT area. I think that would be kind of cool. And the old Silver Bridge. I'm going to try to take a look. 70 vehicles. Some actual props from the movie. Oh, chapstick. A watch worn by Richard Gere. 
creepy lip balm prop. All right, I'm calling it for the Mothman Museum. This is a voiceover right now. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I did not enjoy myself in there. It's, it's a big draw. The Mothman Festival. People go to the museum while they're there, and I think it'd be cool to be at the Mothman Festival when it's held every year. But mm, the museum, when it's based on an urban legend, there's not much you can do. There's not much you can show. It's a lot of newspaper clippings, a lot of props from a movie that wasn't very good. And that's really about it. I was trying my best to make this interesting for you, the viewer, and for myself. I'm pointing. Look at that. What am I pointing at? I don't even know what the way. I think, oh, it's Laura, oh, that's Laura Linney's costume from the movie. And I was most amazed at how tiny she was. That was one thing that started me. Like, that's a tiny, tiny little costume. And Laura Linney fit in it. Anyway, I got to get us out of this museum. And we're going to walk over. The town itself is really beautiful. And the Silver Bridge story is very sad. And we're going to walk over there now. And again, I'm going to take you, like I said, I'm going to take you to that TNT area, which is really cool. It's abandoned mines. And what I really found interesting or funny is this article, because I, I looked up a lot of articles on this. And one of the first articles I came across was this. As you can see, it reads, Couples, that's the two teenage couples that were out there, the teens here, see man-sized bird, creature, something. So the punctuation with the exclamation mark made me laugh, but I was reading it as like a world-weary editor who's just like, couples see man-sized bird, creature, something. I don't know. Yeah, so I cut the audio again. Like, you know what? And I put on fast forward mode. We're going to speed through this like 45 seconds, but there was like five minutes of footage. If you're, if you're into the Mothman stuff, it'd be interesting to you. I, it doesn't play well on video to show a bunch of newspaper clippings. What, what are we looking at? Yeah, like in a video. But if you're into phenomena like that and urban legends, then I think you would enjoy the museum. But it's something you kind of would want to see yourself. Where we're going next are the main reasons why I would recommend coming to Point Pleasant because it's actually really cool. That's uh, stuff that was found somewhere. Uh, that was, oh, God, I don't know. Let's get out of here. So literally, I got in my car. I drove from there to here because the bridge collapse was right over around the corner here. But I want to show you this uh old theater this old little town it's pretty cool point pleasant i'm actually digging the vibe what i've never said that before in my life i like it but i already passed they've got like a huge thing about the bridge collapse it was a pretty big story obviously 46 people and apparently people saw the mothman just before it collapsed so that's what this has to do with the story that's a big part of it so where's that thing i saw right here here we go Let's read the sign. So I, I don't know what I'm doing with this video. Okay, so it, I'm in West Virginia. There's a the myth of the Mothman. The myth of the Mothman. <laughs> and uh, some teenagers saw it. And they see it everywhere. And then people saw it all the time. Hundreds of witnesses. And a bridge collapsed. It's very, very sad. It was a failed eye bar joint. It was like 2.5 millimeters fault that made this happen. It's crazy. And it was because it was aluminum uh, colored paint, so it's called the Silver Bridge. But yeah, this is a little memorial they have for it. But we, I went back here already. I believe I'm right beside the sheriff's office. So if the Mothman does come and scoop me up, 911 on the cell phone, and they will help me out. But the Silver Bridge was right on the other side. So there's the new bridge. See over there. See that? Right over there. Silver Bridge was directly in front of us. Crazy. I thought I'd be wandering around looking for where the Silver Bridge was. My friend told me that you could see parts of it in the water still. And I was talking to the guy at the Mothman Museum. And he said, only during severe droughts and when the water's really low. 
Oh wow, lots of rocks. So it was right here where the silver bridge collapsed. There's another thing over here. Let's see what they say over here. <laughs> In memory of 46 souls who lost their lives. December 50, it was the coldest day of the year. At that point, I know that. And it was the biggest uh, bridge, uh, the most amount of fatalities from a bridge collapse at the time as well. We're on the other side. Well, but there's the new bridge they built. So they didn't build it in the exact place. But I guess some there's got to be some way to get over on the other side of that wall when the the water is very high right now. Um, in the summertime, I guess, and you can see parts of the bridge still submerged, like just like one pillar or something. And it was during rush hour when it happened, and. I always find that interesting when they call it rush hour in small towns. Like rush hour does happen in small towns. I get stuck in it, and it can be more frustrating than um, like Toronto or LA. To be honest, it can be really a lot more frustrating because it's such a small area with a high concentration of cars in these little towns. And uh, but if, like I can't imagine rush hour in 1967. But wow, that'd be that crazy, but. And they called it, they said it happened during rush hour. Where are they coming from on the other side? I don't know what's on the other side. All right, now we're going to go up, find those abandoned bunkers. The rain has kind of subsided, but not much. Okay, I can't guarantee the video is about to get really good because I think it's been poopy so far. But I think it's about to get good. Look at the look, 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 look. Okay, this is I get the this is the teen Sierra. Turn right onto Potter's Creek Road. Done. Once in the wooded area of Potter's Creek Road, that's a sentence on its own. It doesn't with no punctuation. Okay, I'm in the wood area. Keep an eye to the right for inlets. I did. About the seventh inlet, there will be a guardrail with spray paint on it. Here we go. Park there and go around the guardrail. <laughs> to the right, there will be a bunker, and to the left, a pond. There's a pond. Let's find the bunker. This is apparently where the kids parked and where the Mothman came. No ATVs allowed. So we're gonna. Oh God, I hate leaving. I'm I'm in the middle of West Virginia, leaving my car on the side of the road. I, I know there's no alligators out here, but bears in West Virginia? Come on. They're not hibernating right now. What am I doing? And though, if they're going to hibernate, they're going to hibernate in a bunker. Where's the bunker? Now, it looks like... Why am I whispering? Yo, oh, God. This is stupid. Where's the bunker? Archie? Archie? Okay. How far up do I have to walk to find this bunker? I hate leaving my car when I can't see it, when it's in the middle of, the, of a road somewhere. Oh my God, I think I see something. Holy Jesus. What is it? It is a bunker. Oh no, 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 no. I can see it. There's gotta be no one out here, right? Like. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No. <laughs> this is, I'm not kidding, this is the middle of nowhere, going into an old abandoned bunker. If this is my last video, Shady, I love you. To my sister, I love you. To all my viewers, thank you for watching. Um, what else? Uh, Steve, Graveyard Guy, you can take over my channel. Uh, transfer the subscribers to yours. Uh, 
Yeah, and then Steve, you can make a video about my grave. This is what we have. That's our pact, right, Steve? Whoever goes first. Let's go into the bunker. I don't want to. Look at the size of this lock. But it's open. All right, let's go. You've got to be kidding me. Holy shit. What? Yeah, everybody, let's go in. Everybody that's with me, all 10 of us. Good to have the wrestling team from the local university here with me. Oh, it smells like an old record store, like vinyl. Holy shit, no thanks. Okay, let's get the light on. Hello, okay, I can see. There's nothing in here. Okay, it's just all spray painted. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is a World War II bunker. If I hear any strange noises, I swear, listen to that. If I hear any strange noises, I am out of here. <laughs> if I hear any strange noises, I swear to God. What is happening? This is crazy, look at this. This would be where the Mothman would hang out, I would assume, right? Wow. This would not be a great place to bring, 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 bring. Hello, 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 echo, 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 echo. Fuck you! Fuck you too. Wow. Well, I'm in a bunker in West Virginia in the middle of the woods. Are you happy, you two? Are you happy? This is the content you want. And this is what I'm bringing you. Oh, follow Mothman Travels on Instagram. No, follow me on Instagram. Haunted Hearing Adontis YouTube. Ugh. It's got on tape YouTube. I didn't bring anything to write. Wow. Oh! Yeah, you gotta see the size of this lock. Look at that. And apparently they don't care. This is part of it. So this is the abandoned bunker. All right. No, I don't think I explained the whole Mothman thing properly. But this is where he was first spotted. Somewhere around here. There hasn't been any sightings for a long time from what I know. But, uh, you never know. Mothman could be back very soon. Very soon. I had nothing to follow that up with, really. I don't have a Mothman mask. Mothman mask! That was a nice little pond. It's not frozen over, so we can't skate. My car's fine. My car's still there. Look at this. Wow. There we go. All right, well, sometimes I ask myself during the filming of a video or after, is this a video? Is this something? And I've got hundreds sometimes that I haven't put up. And... But I think this one I'm going to put up because I had to go through this. And you're going to go through it too by watching it. Hopefully you're still around. And uh, like and subscribe. It's pouring rain. Freezing cold. So I really, I went through a lot to make this video. Is it something? I don't know. I don't know. No moth, man. Oh. All right. Peace out. Mother. Do moths do it? I don't know what moths do. I'm going to hang out by the light. They're really gross. I don't like moths. I don't like butterflies either, to be honest. Dragonflies I kind of like, but I'm afraid of them. Well, not really afraid of them. I just don't really want to be around. It doesn't matter.